Hey guys, welcome to part two. Alright, uh, so we're going to finish up coding it, hopefully in this one. Alright, uh, so first uh, we need to load in the basics case, so let's go back to command.cs, go to the top, and we're going to copy this happy stuff. Alright, over here, and then, oops, not that one. Okay, save. Hell box. Alright, and then we're going to paste that right here. Oops, first we're going to create uh, our public void so we can use it in the other class. So public void load family and we call this external command data. And call it command data. Right. And then, alright. Okay. Uh, so we're going to load this guy in first, paste that, great. And then we need, oops, load those in. And that is Revit Application Services, and this guy is Revit.db, cool. Right. And then, so you, see, you guys have probably seen this in one, but if not, it's okay, let's do it here. So we're going to uh, set path to our folder that we're loading and stuff from. All right, and then uh, we're going to set a family to null. And then we're going to create a for loop. Uh, that's going to go to all the families and uh, list the one that uh, we want. Or list the families. So in this case, we're just going to load uh, all title blocks for this one, OK? All right, great. Alright, so the way we do that is uh, we're going to do directory info and we call it multipath. That's going to equal to new directory info. And then I already have my path, so you guys just uh, navigate to your folder, right? And you've probably all seen it. And we're going to load this in like this. Copy. And paste. Alright. Okay, so that's in. Great. And then close that guy at the end. And then we're going to grab all the files and grab the ones that are only dot .rfa files. So file info and list of files and files is equal to multipath dot get files star dot rfa close okay all right and this guy just grabs all the files okay and then we're going to set a family to null for our output for our family so it's family family is equal to null close and then uh, create a for loop. So this one is going to do for each. Uh, file info file in files and then this is just referencing all the files that we grabbed up here. Okay. And now we're going to uh, doc dot load family. And it's going to be multipath joined with file.names. And then that output is going to be this family. Okay, cool. And then that's it for him. Right. Okay, so now we can go back to command.cs, go to the bottom. So now we're saying, if our title blocks are null, then we're going to do this, or null or empty. Uh, then we're going to do load title blocks. And we call it load family because we set it to public. Oops, did we? Let's check that real quick. Oops, nope. So it's going to be load family, not load title block. So you got to be. Mm, 
<laughs> New. Oh, that's why. Okay. Yeah. New load title block. Okay. And then the, now it's going to be load family. Oops. Load family dot load family. Can data. Alright. And we should change this to be something easier to remember. So I'm just going to change this one to load title block. Okay. The name of it. Okay, great. And then, where are you not? Oh, there we go. So we need something cool in there. Okay. And then we're going to grab the first, which is pretty easy. Uh, so we're just going to do, uh, we're going to grab it as a family symbol. Symbol, this is going to be first title block. It's equal to cool title blocks dot first element. As kind of simple. Great. Okay. And then we're going to create the new sheet. And so that's going to be a uh, view sheet. View sheet. It's equal to view sheet. Oops. Dot create and doc, comma. First title block dot id. Great. Right. And then uh, they're going to say throw exception if nothing is found, which should never be a problem, but just in case it is, uh, if view sheet, oops, sheet is equal to null, then throw new exception. And we're going to say failed. To create new sheet. Great. Okay. Uh, and then we're going to duplicate the plan. So, yeah. So this one's going to grab the plan that we have up top, the duplicated plan, which is this guy. All right. So this one's just got the first one on our plans list. Right, and that's going to be, so now we're going to duplicate that, we need the ID from it, so we're going to do element ID, and say duplicated plan ID, okay. uh, duplicated plan ID, alright, and so that's going to be duplicated plan, oops, in there. And uh, it's pressing out. E L E N E N T R D. There we go. Okay. So this one's going to be duplicate pan plan dot duplicate. Alright. And then that was going to be. Oops, go back. Yep, you duplicate option, and then we're going to say duplicate, right? So this part is, as you can see right here, so duplicate as dependent with detailing, all that stuff. So if you're copying anything with a um, component, right, do you have a detail component you probably don't want with detailing. Uh, but this one just going to do that. Okay. And then here we're going to set a location for our thing we passed, right? Uh, UV. Oops. UV. And we're going to call it location is equal to new UV. We're going to say, oops, we need to go in twice. And it's going to be view sheet dot outline dot max dot view subtract oops, subtract view sheet dot min u divided by 2. Space. U sheet dot outline dot min dot u. Alright, close. And then this one divided by 2. And then comma. 
and this one's going to be similar, but now we're going to just grab the V instead. Now it's going to be uh, so the two and C U sheet dot outline dot max dot V minus U sheet dot outline dot min dot v. Here. Right. Close that out and divide that by two. And then I believe that should be it. Let me check. Yep, that's it. Right. And then terminate that. And then we're going over here and create the viewport. And so we're gonna do viewport new viewport is equal to viewport yep. dot create oops not create this idea not that it's going to be catalyzed viewport dot create so we're going to do dot comma view sheet dot id comma duplicate plan and we're gonna set the location this is gonna be new XYZ location dot view and then Location dot B. All right, comma zero. All right, and then we're going to terminate that. Okay. And obviously, of course, you know, if you um, go in here, you'll see the requirements that it needs in order to be created there. So, all right, uh, now we're going to quickly set the viewport settings. All right. Hey guys. Uh, Part two is going longer, uh, so I'm going to stop it right here, and then y'all can join me over at part three. All right, see you there.